today before you and ask, do we want to continue eating GMOs? No! Do we want to continue feeding them to our families and our children? No! Then say it with me. Heck no, GMO! Monsanto has got to go! Heck no, GMO! Monsanto has got to go! <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Henderson. I work in my I'm an organic farmer. Okay, I get it. It's like a chainsaw. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Henderson. I'm an organic farmer. Peacework farm. Yeah! Our farm is the oldest CSA in this area. We're celebrating our 25th year this year. Yeah. 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 And I am co-chair of the Northeast Organic Farming Association of New York Policy Committee. Yeah. Yeah. And we have been working against GMOs since they started back in the late 80s. So we need all of your help. How many of you eat breakfast cereal? No. All of us are yeah. How many of you drink conventional milk that you buy at the grocery store? How about crackers? Kentucky Fried Chicken? A guinea pig, a guinea pig who has not been asked to participate in one of the biggest nutrition experiments in world history. And we have to stop this. Yes. So, please get the local Congress people, the assembly people in this area to vote, to sign up as co-sponsors for a3525 and then get the senators to sign up for S3835, the bills to require the labeling of GMO foods in New York State. We need to pass these bills. Yes. And when yeah. we pass yeah. these bills, the bills that they're passing in Vermont and Connecticut will be valid too because those are premise on having other states do it too. So we need a Northeast block. Yes. So help us. Yes. I've called mine. Unfortunately, my Senator Nazolio writes back, uh, thank you for uh, expressing your opinion. I'll get back to you later. Yeah. So can you send a little picture with like having dollar signs for eyes like when, when he gets back to you? <laughs> so I just wanted to add some additional information to what Danielle said. We don't know for sure all the things that GMO foods do, but there's been plenty of research that proves that Roundup is dangerous to our health and to the health of the soil. Yeah, and the bees. Roundup yeah. kills the beneficial fungi that hold the soil together. Yeah. So by spreading 200 million pounds a year, 200 million pounds a year of Roundup, they are going to cause another blowing away of all of the soil again. All the dust bowl. There's going to be another dust bowl. Yes. And the Roundup is going to be part of the cause. And you know what? The Environmental Protection Agency just did. They raised the allowance for glyphosate in food. Yes. We have until July 1st to comment to EPA and say, do not raise the allowance for glyphosate in our food. 
Will you sign on and write a letter to EPA? Yeah. yeah. My name is Benjamin Sapper. Uh, I'm here standing in solidarity with Bill McKibben and 350.org. And uh, just want to recognize that, you know, Monsanto and the fossil fuel industry are hand in hand. So, you know, culture is where we get our food, and food freedom is societal freedom. So, I mean, this is a step in the right direction. But, you know, we need to create tighter communities, and we need to start really brainstorming ideas, uh, because, you know, the, the time is here. We've already crossed 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which has never been seen in the history of humanity. So, you know, things are changing, and things are going to change a lot faster. So, you know, we need to form tight communities, we need to brainstorm ideas, you know, urban gardening, CSAs, uh, things of that nature. Walk, don't drive. Most of the carbon dioxide emissions are caused by driving because there are so many stinking cars on the road. And it, it's industry. What sort of things do we actually want? What sort of things do we buy that add value to our lives? You know, they're, they're just things. They fall apart, you know. But communities, solidarity doesn't fall apart. No GMOs. Hi, I'm Roxy Love, and I'm here from Rochester, New York State. And I just wanted to say that our bodies are temples, and Monsanto is a terrorist to us. with GMO seeds instead of saving our organic special heirloom seeds. We need to fight because the poor cannot have access to the organic food that we have. Nabisco and Kellogg's make cheap foods full of carcinogens that we can have easy access to. Unfortunately, it's the way it is. If we stand together, we will make a change. mother of a two-year-old who is not with me here today. He's still, you know, he's with his dad. He's okay. But he's just not present here. Um, I wish he could be, though, because as a mother, I feel like it is my duty on this planet to protect his health and his safety. And I am not okay with Monsanto using my child as a science experiment. So I would ask you, any of you that have children, grandparents, grandchildren, siblings, you know, friends with small ones to fight this fight with me for our children and the future of this planet. Save the bees! Save the trees! Yeah. Save the dogs! Save the people! Hey, what's up, Rochester? I'm here. I'm here because I believe in my freedom. And if they control our food, they control our freedom. And I don't want that. Right. So, fight for your rights. Like, fight against these monsters because once our freedom is gone, it's over. It's our most valuable possession. Never give it up without a fight. I'm here from Metro Justice. How many people are out here for their first demonstration ever? That is phenomenal. I want to just give a, a context to some of this, because we come out often for like one issue at a time, one issue at a time. This is a fight that's connected to so many others. We are currently engaged in a battle against the corporate agenda in this country. We are currently engaged in a battle of people above profit. Because the same people that want to label, that want to genetically modify our genes and take those as intellectual property that they can profit off of, are the same people that profit off of kicking people out of their homes in this city. Are the same people that profit from the death of universal health care in this country. Are the same people that profit every day by exploiting workers all over this country. Are the same people that, that profit from the basic slavery that farm workers in this country experience. So what does that mean for us? What that means for us is it's fantastic that you've come out to a demonstration today, but it's more important that you become an ongoing part of this fight. That you go out every day, that 
that you participate in different organizations, that you participate going door to door in your neighborhood, that you get engaged in the social movement of people above profit. There are a number of organizations here today that you should check out and do that with. If at any point you feel like you don't know what to do, come talk to me. I'll be wandering around with the Metro Justice Center. I'm talking because I'm one of the people who have been affected by these chemicals. I have an ungodly buildup of these chemicals in my body, and I have been sick since I was seven years old. I'm sick of being sick. The people who are actually affected by these chemicals, their voices are being silenced. I almost lost my life once because of a dangerous neuropathy from these chemicals. And I was almost silenced. The people who are really affected are being silenced, and this ends today. Thank Danielle for organizing this event today. My name's Debbie Jennings. I'm from GMO Free Rochester. Start a grassroots organization. We're on Facebook at GMO Rochester. Um, and oh, oh, right right about. we're on Facebook and we've got a website. I've got some cards with me and I'm trying to get out all the news about what's happening here in New York with the new bill that's coming to get these substances labeled. I've got all the, we've got all the national, I'm trying to link up all the scientists, all the reports that are coming internationally on the dangers of these foods. So if we all can just work together, we can get this passed through legislation and get this monster company and all the other bio-industrial giants off the face of this, the map. Everybody, I'm Pete. I just want to say one thing. I'm fed up with our legislatures, our congressmen, our senate, and I don't expect them to change. And I'm changing. So, the hell with them. I say you vote with your dollars. It's where you spend your money that counts. And no one can change your behavior when you vote with your dollars. Obama has got ties knee deep into Monsanto. They all do. It's infiltrated and money talks and they're not going to win this one. We are. I just want to say that if we have to do it, we're going to have to burn the fields. We're going to have to burn the fields like everybody else did in the other countries and all that. Stop being pussies about it. My name's Alex White, and in case you didn't know, I'm running for mayor of Rochester. Wow, that is not the, the response I get in most large gatherings. Thank you. The, uh, this is symbolic of the sort of campaign that everything is going through right now, because everything is being controlled by the large companies and by the big money. And our food is too important for this. I do not understand, and neither should anyone, why information is so scary to people. Why is labeling such a frightening concept? We deserve the power of choice. And we're only gonna get it if we stay engaged. Today cannot be our last step. Today cannot be the last thing we do. We have to push people, and if we can't find representatives who support our issue, we need to become those representatives. Because there is a solution, and unfortunately it's political to all of our problems, and we have to step up because we have the power and we can change the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
right to know. Make them label GMO. Hey, Monsanto.
tons of other people have said, which is that this is amazing that this many people have showed up to this. I'm inspired by all of you. I also, I also did want to make, uh, did want to make one point though, that uh, that this, uh, as has been said before, is part of a larger uh, corporate political agenda. Uh, but we have to also understand that it's not just about a particular political agenda that's happening right now, right? This is about the way that our system is set up, right? Do we really think that, a, that we're supposed to live in a democracy, right? We live in a country, we live in a country that justifies everything it does by saying it's a democracy. Did we, did we decide this? No! Did, did all of us just like miss the memo and forget to vote on this? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> now, we absolutely should, you know, run, run alternative slates to corporate politicians. We should lobby our legislators. We should sign petitions. We should do all of that. But we also have to understand that ultimately the solution to this is not just to do those things. The solution to this and a million other problems is that we have to actually make society democratic. We have to make this yeah. society fulfill the promise of freedom to its people. And if we do that, if we do that, we can solve this problem and so many others. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm originally from India, and Mod Center has not just been confining its evil deeds to the United States, it's all over the world. And um, farmers in India. Yeah. yeah, farmers in India have been deeply impacted by their doings. Uh, how many of you have heard of terminal C technology? Yes. Yeah, these are seeds which you cannot renew. So farmers are usually used to saving some of their crops and replanting generation after generation so they don't have to buy new seed each time. Now they're forced to do it. This has resulted in hundreds of thousands of people committing suicides in India. So, um, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, they have the talents all over the world. It's a really bad thing. Just wanted to let you know that some people asked about farmers. Now they're impacted. This impacts everybody. My wife and I, as we walked to this, said, uh, boy, this reminds us. This reminds us of the 60s, and then I said, yeah, but we are the 60s. Yeah. The gentleman who spoke earlier, several people spoke. It's important to recognize that Monsanto, DuPont, Syngenta, the Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, These people are working along with the U.S. government, USAID, along with the U.S. government, USAID, and other funders, okay, to make sure that whatever Monsanto and their ilk do here, they're doing in East Africa, they're doing it in India, and in the Indian-related uh, regions, and we have to pay attention to that. Now, to add one more thing. The seed needs water, and water particularly in East Africa and developing countries, and yes, right here in the U.S., where we're having a drought in Nebraska, Kansas, and other parts of the country, that water tied to fracking, tied to who gets to charge for it, tied to who gets to say where it goes. Okay, so the point is, it's a system. We need to pay attention to the system in which Monsanto exists. So, okay, we pay attention. So what can we do concretely? Apart from elections, which should, right? If you go to Wegmans, if you go to Tots, ask them, is this food made with GMO? They may not know, but the word will spread that people are asking for it. That's, that's grassroots, folks. That's grassroots. It's getting off of Facebook. That's good. 
and working it into everyday conversation with people who will pay attention. Woo! Neil Young, Woo! Neil Young, Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp been talking this stuff for years. It's called Farming. And one of Neil's songs that we all know, Homegrown's All Right With Me. Homegrown is the way it should be. Plant that bell and let it ring.